I'm Ashley. And I'm Diane, and we're from... I Wonder Korea. Korea. I Wonder Korea is a startup company that focuses on bridging the gap between the expat community and the Korean community here in Korea through local events, fun activities, and translation services, and much more. Yes, and we are here in our Wonder Studio um, in Jungasan Dong Jeonju, which we have just opened as a co-working space starting March Monday. 23, Monday, <laughs> yes. right? Yes. Okay, so um, we are here today to launch our I Wonder video series, which mm -hmm. um, talks about um, what are the most um, asked questions mm -hmm. by expats here in Korea, right? Yeah. So um, our first video is featuring your friend. Yes. Um, can you tell us about that? Well, the most asked question so far has been about COVID-19 mm -hmm. and uh, my friend is from Daegu, which mm. she can tell us more about it yeah. because Daegu was highly affected in mm -hmm. Korea, one yeah. of the cities that were yeah. highly affected at the time. And she can give us her firsthand experience of mm. what's happening over there. Actually mm -hmm. pen pals for mm -hmm. a few years before mm -hmm. I moved to Korea. And she's actually a nurse in a clinic mm -hmm. over there, mm -hmm. which is why I think she is the right person to talk about the situation mm -hmm. that's happening over there. Mm -hmm. So what happened was um, we sent her questions via email mm -hmm. because right now um, people are discouraged to go out of their homes and um, practice social distancing. And um, what she did was she filmed herself in her home and answered our questions. Yes. So um, we understand that this, the situation is very serious right now. So mm -hmm. um, we hope that this can give you more information and um, first-hand um, look at what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Let's watch. Hi, my name is Ju Young. I'm living in Gyeongsan, which is near to Daegu, and I work in the pain clinic in Gyeongsan. Teams dispatched in Daegu to disinfect the site of the country's worst mass outbreak of the coronavirus. South Korea has rapidly emerged as the place hardest hit by the coronavirus outside of China, where the disease originated from. More than half of South Korea's cases are linked to a controversial Christian sect called the Shincheonji Church of Jesus. The organization, with an estimated 215,000 followers in South Korea alone, was founded and is still run by this man, 88-year-old Lee Man Hee. People living in Daegu are all panicked with coronavirus outbreak and the government claimed Daegu, Gyeongsan, Cheongdo as the special disaster area. Since the last month, for more than one month, me and my daughter couldn't go out of the house. We just order food only on the internet uh, be just because we're so afraid of being infected with coronavirus and meeting people. Actually, the streets are so quiet and there's no one hanging around in the city for the same reason. At my work, there are a lot of Shincheonji in Gyeongsan and many of my patients are Shincheonji. So my boss, he is a doctor. And he wanted me and my colleagues to have unpaid vacation for a month. So I'm worried about money these days because I can't make money at all. I think people hate Sinchanji very much because they always hide themselves and behave negatively to government. My friends and most of employees of Gyeongsan and Daegu can't go work for the same reason. They just stay home and do shopping on the internet and they sometimes go to the stores but there are only a little people there. They are having hard times because they lost their job and they are having unpaid vacation like me. Officers from government 
comes to sanitize places all around the city and hand out the antivirus 94 masks to citizens. Mm. These are <clears throat> what they, uh, uh, they gave me yesterday. But in the stores, there are a lot of food and basic necessities everywhere, and they are never sold out at any time. Uh, people of Daegu just stay home and are just waiting for the time when the disaster is over. I hope the Corona-19 get away from the world soon and I could come back. I wish I could come back to my job and my normal life again. Fighting Daegu Gyeongsan, Himmera Daegu. Bye. Thank you, Chloe, for sharing your experiences and situation firsthand over there in Daegu. We really hope everything works out with you over there and wish you the best. Uh, our heart goes out to those who have been affected by the virus, um, not just in their health, but also in their livelihood. Well, watch out for the continuation of this series. Um, it will be featuring a doctor mm -hmm. and a lawyer next, mm -hmm. right? And we will try to answer um, some of the questions that we will gather from our Facebook page. And also another important thing that we want to remind everyone of is the one cup, one cheer. Yeah. Um, we have opened our um, office as a co-working space. So how does that work? Uh, well, they will come in and mm. they, I know mo most of you over there are practicing self-distancing, but mm. still need a private place to work. And we actually mm. um, will start offering our space mm -hmm. um, so you can reserve and book our drinks here. Mm. And for every drink that is purchased, we will match it and to help. The yeah, we will match um, one drink mm -hmm. that you purchased and give one drink to a health care worker here in Korea, Donju specifically, yes. This openness, transparency, fully keeping the public informed. And I think this is paying off. We have a very good health care system to begin with. We have a system that is highly wired, as you can imagine. And as you say, we are seeing a stabilizing trend. For three days in a row, the number of newly confirmed positive cases is smaller uh, than the number of those fully cured and released. Um, you vote. Uh, please um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow our Instagram, and um, our Facebook page.